Okay. Bear with me. Um, Stuff stream, graphical artifacts, frame rate, patches, patches, patches. Um, drove me absolutely bonkers yesterday. Um, it, it got worse after the after the patch, but I saw a random message on Facebook of all places saying turn your Discord overlay off, and I thought at this point, why not? So anyway. Lo and behold, um, it works. Um, so I'll go into it a little bit more. Well, there's nothing to go into it. Just go into Discord and turn the overlay off. And um, yeah, got rid of all my graphic artifacts and um, the stuttering, which is driving me absolutely bonkers. So six laps. You can see for yourself here. You may see some tearing because I've got the graphics set up pretty high um, and I've not got VSync on so I'm testing it but I've done about 30 laps in the old Porsche, the MX-5 and these on various tracks and uh, the stuttering's gone and the flashing up graphical artifacts have gone I've also found that if you put V-Sync on, you get touring. Yeah, wear that one out. If you turn it off, um, it's very minimal, if any. So I've got the AI set at 90, I've got a folder in. Um, and I'm running on a GTX 1080 Ti and a 10700 processor with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And lock it up. I will say the uh, the new force feedback is a lot sharper, a lot more refined than before. And uh, if you get that Discord overlay off, well, at least for me, um, there's a performance boost that gets rid of the uh, the horrible stuttering you get and various other things. I know it sounds absolutely insane, but. It's working for me from a random Facebook post. I thought I'd better share it. Anybody else suffering can uh, leave your feedback down below and see if it works for you. These guys are a little bit uh, OTT for this track but I do like the track. I do like the cars so hey ho I'm not paying for the repairs. Yeah I have a bit of a coming together up ahead. A bit narrow this track for overtaking so you pick your opportunities and these pieces of no tracks control or ABS so over that little rise there it all gets very interesting. Give him room, give him room, check behind, he's behind. But as you can see, and I'll show you my graphic settings at the end, if I remember. Oh, front edge is pushing out there, on the edge. Rise again, fork gear, yeah. kick it in, hook it in, lift a little bit over the rise, <laughs> check behind me, on the brakes, turn it in, just get a nice slip going, give it in fork, again, hit the brakes, Down to third. 
takes an age to get around that T1. Run it wide, bring it in tight. Deep there, but never mind. Brakes, turn it in, keep it smooth up the hill. Little power, go, go, go. Close the gap, again, dabbing the brakes. Needs the curb. Good run out of there. Let's get up on this Porsche. Last lap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Got a bit floaty light there on the brakes, turning in. Again, they'll be having a, a run back up on me. Leave a bit of room. To clear, let's go. So, yeah, go into this go, go into settings, turn all the overlays off. There's umpteen of them, he's doing all sorts in the background. It's obviously uh, running on one of the cores that are critical to this game and causing no end of problems. I will pass it on to the devs as soon as I finish this race. But thanks for watching and uh, let me know if that helps. It certainly uh, fixed my problems. Right, I am now loving the, uh, the uh, new update. Uh, just a quick look at my settings. Oh right, so I've got that off because if I put it on, I get screen turning, turning, turn it off. I don't. Um, I was testing it with the MX-5s and the Porsches earlier on. I was getting an eight to fifteen frames per second boost. Um, yeah, which is good. Uh, my graphic settings are here. So mediums, highs, a couple of ultras, a couple of lows. Um, shadows are doing me heading. Certain cars they look horrible, certain others they look fine. But and I'm not running FX3. I was native. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Let me know if it does. Hell abuse if it doesn't. All right, adios.